Hello guys, welcome back to another backyard special and we're going to do something that's never been done before. And what we're going to do is put a brake disc, assembly something thing on a Stingray OCC back tire. And how we're going to do that is pretty simple you're going to get the free hub sprocket and you're going to take it apart like so you know not this easy but you know you gotta when you have it on like that just look at the name of the tire best way to do this <clears throat> so the names up top is spelled to right to left so just go to the s on stingray and just go that way so you'd be turning it right so it's a lot easier all you gotta do is get some big channel locks clamp it on and just turn it it's gonna take a while because they put some weird like loctite type of thing on it but it will come off and so you're just gonna take it off it should pop off and then you're gonna take this part this part you know Yes, you can buy it on eBay for like a dollar, dollar something, but it's from China, so it's going to take maybe like three months to get here. So I found this a better way. So you take this, and now you have a free wheel adapter. Easy, something fast. And I found this from the motor on the ATV that it came off of. This came off on the back axle and it fits pretty good. You need a little lip, snaps in there, looks pretty clean, looks like it's actually made for it. But you know, you still gotta weld this up. Well, this in the back, it's it's pretty centered. It's a little off, but you know this is custom made. You know, so it's not gonna be completely straight. I'm just saying. Yeah, you know, I I never done this before. Nobody has done this before. I bet. And that's it. And all it's gonna do is just, you're gonna have it on like that. You're gonna be able to twist it on. It's not loaded up yet, but you know, you got it's gonna be like that. Now you have a disc brake, a disc in the back of your bike. Yeah, so other than that, that's it. And we're gonna weld this up and we're gonna put it on. All right, and we just welded this up, welded this up. Yeah, look at those welds right there. Anyways, so we'll load this up. We're we'll gonna put this right here. Line it up pretty good. Make sure you don't cross the threads. And go a little bit at a time. Do, 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 do. A little bit, a little, little bit. Let it catch. Let it catch it. Let it catch it. And then there he goes. A little sweeter. And that's how you do it. So you'd be like, oh, okay, well, we're just gonna cross thread. Well, the caliber is gonna sit, you know, example, right, using my hand. The caliber is gonna sit like right here, or, you know, it's gonna clamp it. So the tire is gonna go this way. So it's gonna self tighten itself every time. So what I did was I, I put a little, little, little weld before it, you know, keeps going through, because it's gonna keep going until it stops, right? But, I put a little, little tiny weld so when it hits that, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to keep going in. So it's going to stop it. And then the caliber is going to keep it from going back and forth because it's like, it, you know, it sits like that. You know, like a fucking donut. So it goes like that. It's not going to move it back and forth. So, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put Loctite on this shit. Maybe not. I don't know. Depends. 
But that's how you do it. And then we're going to see if we can put the caliber on and then go from there.